is his numbers going to be, a, a, are they going to be a little bit different? Yes, they're going to be different because you have other guys that are going to take catches away from him. You have better players offensively uh, on that roster when you look at the skill position player. So I think his numbers are going to be slight different, but he's still going to get his. But now if guys decide that they want to double team Darren Waller or, uh, or, or Hunter Renfro, now you have Devontae Adams one-on-one. If guys want to uh, double team Devontae Adams and Darren Waller, now you got Hunter Renfro one-on-one. Now you have a run game um, that's going to probably be thriving as well. So I think it's going to be different in those regards. But let's sit up here. Let's not sit up here. And that's why people ups- upset me sometimes. We can't sit up here and act Don't like. Upset. We can't act like Derek Carr is just trash. Derek Carr can play at That's a very, fine, very but he's high not, level. He's no, not a Hall of no, Famer no, no, yet. No, no, no. He's not a Hall. First of all, he got to win a playoff game first. Right. Exactly. He has to win a playoff game first. And then a Super Bowl also. Yes. And if we're actually going to have a real conversation. <laughs> but we got to call the before we walk, Amber. We got to win a playoff game first. Right. Well, and that's why people were frustrated with the comparison. I mean, we can take issue with the fact that Rodgers has only won one Super Bowl as well and maybe hasn't lived up to the expectation that we have for him. But the second that you try to compare Derek Carr's journey to Aaron Rodgers' career, it just feels like a misplaced comparison. Back-to-back MVP. Exactly. Back-to-back well, and MVP. reigning MVP yes. at this point. Yes. Now, to your point about him missing Aaron Rodgers, I don't think he's going to miss Aaron Rodgers because this was the choice that Devontae Adams made. And he obviously made this choice knowing, hey, I'm going from Aaron Rodgers, who most people consider the elite quarterback, to Derek Carr. Let's be honest. Devontae Adams don't want to spend the rest of his, uh, his, in his in his prime playing with Jordan Love. Did you see Jordan Love against the Kansas City Chiefs? <laughs> it didn't look good. I seen body language by Devontae Adams saying, damn, can Aaron please get back? So well, Aaron, Aaron comes Rogers, back, he, he and Devontae Adams still chooses to leave after that point. So he could have reconsidered, right? But that man just signed a five-year deal. So yeah. I, from the wide receiver perspective, as somebody who played in the league, you said his numbers are going to go down. Do you care? Like, if you're locked in for the next five years to your team, he just signed a new deal. Yeah. Is he going to care what the numbers are if they're winning? scoring touchdowns and winning games? No. No, he's not, and and that's one things you one of the things you love about Devontae Adams is he he's not a selfish guy. He's a team first guy, and yes, he's going from a thirteen and three the last three year team in the Green Bay Packers, but they didn't reach reach a Super Bowl. And is the AFC West going to be tough? Is the AFC period tougher? Yeah. Yes, but I think Devontae Adams he showed you by going to the Las Vegas Raiders that he'd take his chances over there versus Green Bay. And that's what he did. You said that there's the chemistry. We always hear that. Everybody tells us how much chemistry there is between these two. But it's not like they've been playing football together all this time. Like, I get they train together in the offseason. What does that mean, that they train? Like, is he actually catching passes from Derek Carr in the offseason? Or are they lifting weights together? No, they're they're running routes. Really? Oh, yeah. I I ran them with them. They're running routes. So you so you feel like then they won't have missed a beat from Fresno because Fresno was a long so. time ago. Like we all act like yeah, well they played college together, but yeah, these dudes have been in the league forever. Well, and I, and I'll say this: it, you look at people like uh, a, a Gronk and a Tom Brady, and granted they played together, but when Gronk came back from retirement, he didn't have to gain that rapport back with Tom Brady. They already had that right. So and you look at the game against Dallas when. Um, they seen a defensive end was going to be guarding Gronk, right? And mm-hmm. they just know each other and read each other's minds. It's something to be said for that. When you train with a guy every year in the offseason, you play with him in college, uh, you're best friends, you're around each other a lot, a lot of the times you're going to be able to read each other's mind. At the line of scrimmage, you don't have to give a hand signal. Y'all may have talked about something on the couch while you're eating popcorn, watching a movie with your family and whatnot, and you look at each other and you just automatically know it's going to be there. So it's like riding a bike. Getting right back on that chemistry between a quarterback and a wide receiver. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.